where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. When I was growing up, I went everywhere I could with my dad. We grocery shopped together, visited shut-ins to give them tapes, did the sound for the church services and special events, and went to people's houses for my dad to fix things. In fact, one of the older gentlemen of our church said frequently, where you see Ken, you see Carla. Not surprisingly, my dad told me he had the same kind of relationship with his own father, who died when he was young. After school, my dad would run over to his father's office at the electric company in hopes of helping with a job. At night, when young Kenneth heard the phone ring, he'd hurry and get dressed, meeting his dad at the door. His dad would say, Where do you think you're going? And he'd say, With you and the two of them would drive out into the country to reconnect someone's power lines. That's the kind of relationship we should have with our Heavenly Father. We should desire to be with Him, learn from Him, enjoy each other's company, and become more like Him. When I was growing up, people often commented how much I looked like my dad. There was a definite outward resemblance, but I hope an even deeper inward resemblance. As we spend time with our Heavenly Father, we'll grow to look more and more like Him in our spirit. When people spend time with us, they will get to know Him better because not only will we talk about Him, you know, like kids who brag about their dads, but we'll be so much like Him that they almost feel like they know Him when they spend time with us. Though I never have met my grandfather, I feel like I know him because I know my dad and his brothers and sister. Not only did one of my uncles look almost exactly like my grandfather, but the character of all four of them showed me what kind of man he was. A gentle, loving, caring, giving, dependable, sincere Christian man with integrity. I know this because each of his children exemplified these traits, as have each of my older cousins I look up to. I could go farther back in the family tree and probably find that my grandfather was much like his father and so on and so on. But really, all of those traits don't come from genes. They come from spending time with not only their earthly fathers, but their heavenly father, and becoming more like him. When people see us, they should see us in the spiritual character of God, our father. We should look like him. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you, by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.